These are the muscles of the eyes uh, that is under your control. So there are six of them. Uh, four of them are uh, called rectus and two of them are called oblique. Uh, so uh, this one is called superior rectus. And uh, this is the one that, that is uh, responsible for uh, moving the eye upward. So this one. Um, and then it's called the lateral rectus uh, moving the eye away from the nose. Um, so uh, it's hard to see it in this view because it shows medial view. Uh, this is the opposite one that's medial rectus that moving the eye, eye toward the nose. So if you think that this area is the nose, so eye moves medially. And also this muscle, this is from the side view. Uh, another one is called inferior rectus that is moving the eye downward. And this is the inferior rectus. Uh, so these are the four recti muscles, and then there's two oblique muscles. One is called superior oblique. Uh, this one, uh, that is moving the eye inward and downward. That's called entorsion. Entorsion. Um, so this is the uh, superior oblique. And also this is the inferior oblique. Uh, so this is moving the eye upward and outward. So that's called extorsion. Extorsion. And um, uh, a little bit difficult to see that uh, my, uh, this muscle, so the inferior oblique is around this area, it's a little bit difficult to see it from this view. These are the muscles of mastication, so uh, three of these muscles cause cl closure of the jaw, so this is the temporalis, this is the masseter, and this is called medial pterygoid. These three muscles close the jaw. One muscle opens the jaw and uh, this is called lateral pterygoid. Lateral pterygoid opens the jaw and these three other muscles close the jaw. Um, then also there is two other muscles that uh, that is moving the jaw, the jaw side to side and this is called the pterygoid muscle. So lateral and medial also move the jaw side to side. Um, here is the muscles of the tongue, so there is four different muscles are here. Um, this is the mandible and this area is called geno. And this is the bone is called hyoid bone. Uh, so one muscle is called genoglossus, this muscle. Um, and this is the one that is causing um, protrusion of the uh, tongue and also depression of the tongue. Another muscle is called hyoglossus, that is called retraction of the tank and also depression of the tank. The third one is called styloglossus, and this is causing a retraction of the tank and also elevation of the tank. And the fourth one is called palatoglossus, that is um, elevating the tank also. This is another muscle. This one is not labeled here, that's called geniohyoid. This is a muscle of the floor of the uh, mouth. Muscle of the floor of the mouth. Uh, then there are some muscles for pharynx and larynx, and this is a couple of muscles that are uh, causing elevation of the soft palate. This is called tensor valley palatini, and this is called lavator valley palatini. So both of them cause elevation of the soft palate. Uh, this muscle causes elevation of the larynx. So it's important during swallowing. And these three muscles are the pharyngeal constrictors. So it's narrowing um, the pharynx is important for swallowing also. Uh, so this is superior one, middle one, and inferior one. Uh, this is the muscles of the anterior neck. So if you can see here, the hyoid bone is not articulated with any other bone, but so many different muscles are um, attached to it. So an easy way to remember the function of these muscles, the muscles that are above the hyoid bone causing elevation of the hyoid bone, uh, and the muscles that are below uh, the hyoid bone is causing depression of the hyoid bone, and usually depression are lowering the larynx as, as well. Uh, so let's talk about these muscles from deep to superficial. 
uh, you have the geniohyoid, so this is the genio of the mandible, and this is the hyoid bone, geniohyoid, and this one is called myelohyoid, so myelo is this side of the mandible, so myelohyoid, and then superficial to that, you have this uh, digastric um, muscle, and also you have the stylohyoid muscle, you have the styloglossus muscle, and you have the stylohyoid muscle as well. Uh, for the muscles below the hyoid bone, so uh, this is called the homohyoid that is connecting the clavicle all the way to hyoid bone. Uh, this is called the sternohyoid that's connecting the sternum to hyoid. So these are more superficial muscles and the deeper ones. Um, yeah, this is called the, this one or this one this is called the sternothyroid that is going from the sternum to thyroid and thyrohyoid from thyroid goes to hyoid bone. Also you see this muscle, the sternocleidomastoid that is connecting the uh, mastoid process of the temporal bone to the sternum and clavicle. Uh, so this one, if both of them contract at the same time, uh, it causes um, flexion of the uh, head. So this is like saying yes. And if one of them contracts, the head is moving to the opposite side. So, so if the, both of them are contracting alternatively, then uh, it's the same as saying no. Uh, so both, uh, once again, both of them at the same time uh, is flexing of the neck and one of them contracts moves the head to the opposite side.